Hey, what's up, guys? It's Joseph. Welcome. We're going to be playing another Shinobi Do speedrun. This time it's going to be just the same. Another uh, any percent carryover play. We're going to be using a little bit of mixed Go and Kinu, using Kinu to skip many boss encounters uh, and testing a little bit with that. So I hope you guys are ready and let's go. Oops, sorry, that was actually wrong. I keep doing that every time. All right, and three, two, one, and go. So, what have I learned from the last run, and what am I going to be applying into this run? Essentially, the run that I did when I tried to use Kinu, I found that every time I was meant to have a boss encounter, this is uh, the Usuba Ageha boss fight that happens after the two cutscenes. This is also the Zaji boss fight that occurs. They just don't happen. Instead, you just do regular missions, and what goes on is that um, no cutscene plays, and soon enough, you have to go get the next stone. So I think that's a bit of a skip. We're going to have to experiment with that today and see how well that performs for us being seen by the castle press the triangle button when i get close to an enemy if the enemy move the right analog stick to look around by pressing the r3 button the camera switches to first person view <laughs> i kind of dropped on escape is sometimes a necessity i remember now now and you know i was and i hear me like thinking i'm being really slick if i ever by forget the, uh, how to do something i can always check the controls there. I really should stop jumping on that enemy's head, right? It takes you such a huge distance forward, but that that extra huge distance forward, it's kind of bad for you because you can't get like a good position to jump up on that wall. Getting this is new game plus, so we don't actually need to go into the menus to clear those tutorial screens, and we don't need to rearrange our stuff, we can just head into it. So, uh, right before every mission, there's a cocktail we need to swallow, invisible shadow, and the sensor bean. Everything else is going to, not going to be necessary. We're not going to use double jump on a mission like this. Okay, yep, there we go. So... The next mission coming up, I'm going to switch to Kinu, and then I'm going to hold Kinu after we get the stone, and after the first couple of cut, after the um, first two cutscenes. Merchant assassination like this is going to be fairly easy, if I'm pretty sure. What's meant to happen is the merchant is either going to be inside the one of the warehouses, inside the business room, or he's going to be inside the merchant's quarters. Let's see where he appears and we can know. <sighs> so he's in the merchant's quarters. Oh my gosh. I'm just so fast. <laughs> that was just so fast. I really like how I um, got over that rooftop, but I kind of zipped way past the um, merchant's quarters. C. 
secretly eliminate the enemy. I think this mission is technically faster. I think it's technically faster, but I, I do like the idea of secretly eliminating the enemy to kind of give myself a little bit of that extra edge. That's so funny. She kind of ran into it, but at the same time, she uh, also opened the door. I feel like you're suffering huge amounts of lag. Huge quantities of lag on my end. So strange. I wonder what is the... What is the hiccup? It's just been skipping frames, skipping frames. CPUs work in heavy kind, trying to compensate for whatever's going on. Okay. So this will be technically faster doing the assassination mission than having to do the total destruction. We're just going to be able to go into his house, waiting to get to the merchant. Um, let's just find out where his spawn placement is going to be and then we can know how much we can rush at him. <laughs> Alright. So, he's... <laughs> wow, that was just crazy. It, everything just kind of went wild then. Sorry, I didn't mean... Uh, and, wow, that was really real. <laughs> For like a few brief moments, it, I actually felt like I was barely in control of what was happening. So, um, that should be triggering the first cutscene. Going into the next mission should trigger the second cutscene. So, if we don't get any assassination or total destruction missions, we're just going to go commit Harikiri, get the second cutscene. Okay, no, this is better. Killing samurai generals at this stage isn't particularly too useful for us. It's not that advantageous. But um, being able to enter and exit a mission very quickly, very advantageous.
I think what is actually probably going to be better next time is um because like those missions you can actually get spawned in a bad place because it took me a few seconds to get out of the mission i think what actually would be useful is that not to risk if i have the chance for an assassination for a general on this particular category just go for it i think it doesn't take that much longer so there's the garden defense this garden defense is going to be really quick for us. We're not going to need to engage really uh, on any level with the opponents. We can just sort of wait until the game has loaded in, hit start, quit, let them pass through, and then they're not going to take anything. On easy um, items that you have in your inventory, in your little backpack, those items don't get stolen, unlike in very hard mode, where when the barbarians come through it has to be ev everything must be put into your quick menus so that's kinda good you don't have to do any edit menu editing in this particular difficulty so now kill them in secret is the follow-up mission um, perhaps if I had assassinated the samurai general first and then proceeded to do the reconnaissance mission I might have actually had better time because now I have to engage with these enemies uh, in Sengen Town. Enemies normally like to spawn around where the central sort of shrine is and by the river. Have our cocktail. You'll notice that when I kinda throw my Shuriken, I actually don't even use lock on. I instead just hold R2 and then press square. It's much quicker that way. Uh, and I don't even need to like, um, because sometimes the lock-on system, the game has a, a type of intelligence where it sort of checks around the room to see which item, which wh wh who's near you and what elevation. So that should skip the boss fight. If you notice just then, we didn't even go through it. So I'm just going to hit the split there. Now... Uh, we're in the process of waiting for the soul fragment. So strange, I actually thought I changed the way these splits work to take off the Usuba uh, uh, sequence. Sorry, boys. Anyone? Damn. Where is Lucky Lost? Where is Lucky Lost? There we go. Very, very easy so far. We haven't had any issues, which I'm very happy about. And the run is going through breezy like. Okay. It's a lot of weakening of Sadame's forces. Sadame's looking like fresh meat out here. I'm thinking that uh, very soon she's going to be <laughs> disposed of in the most political sense. She'll be made no longer a threat. Die. Uh, 
you just kind of like just chuck it and you know if you need if you need death from a distance um potency potion plus an asuka shuriken it just gets the job done we got a little bit lost over there but that's okay um i feel like we're still kind of on track Alright, a Samurai General Assassination. This is going to be really good. Um, we're going to, in, we're going to uh, have our Cocktail. Sounds the Double Jump. Uh, we're actually going to replace Double Jump with Black Ninja Flame. And head up into his little cubby house. And let that thing go boom. Uh, I, I started running immediately because uh, sometimes the game does not load uh, quickly enough to... Wow, why is he not here? This is so strange. Where is he standing? Oh, right. I should realize. Wow! You can have missions where he spawned in that location. That's really good. That makes it sometimes really, really easy. I don't know why I've never even noticed that. I always had the sense that he always spawns in that location. Okay, so now we should be getting a letter to kind of help us tell. So it's Akame. Uh, and Akame wants us to go to Utakata Castle. Uh, this is kind of shit. Because, like... A moment like this would have been really great for me to go kill the feudal lord and then proceed onwards into the rest of the um, uh, the game. But this is going to be Ichijo in the castle, so that's a problem. I'm going to have to avoid killing him. Oops. <laughs> uh, I think it's normally here, right? So if it's not here, then it's probably a little bit higher up the castle. Like about here, sir? Mm -hmm. Here we go. We got ourselves the uh, trophy. There's some goons. Swiggy the Swoody was stealing your treasure. Alright, so there we go. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of surprised. I actually really thought we were doing crazy on time, you know what I'm saying? But uh, fair enough, you know. It looks like um, much of... <laughs> 
much of the way the previous run was set up uh, at 11 minutes 47. Oh gosh, that time is wrong. Why is it 11 minutes 47? Yeah. Oops, huh? checked the wrong room. Hey, get up, come over here. What? What? Yasuka gone. From now on. <laughs> we got what we want. That should have been the Zaji fight. So the Kabuto fight's coming up next. We're gonna want to get uh, that Kabuto fight very soon. Skipping frames, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Whew. What is this? What? There you are. Ladies, sit down. That seemed very odd. Very odd indeed. Okay, now we defend the garden, but as, you know, by defending the garden, we don't really defend anything. We just sort of find a nice quiet place to hide and then let these guys just sort of pass right through. See, that would have been a really interesting element to this game if you kind of had uh, a cubby house, um, <laughs> a little mini game where you can kind of just customize how you hide away from uh, the threats. Maybe a little underground bunker. Okay, so we're waiting for that Kabuto fight. A stroll through the forest. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay, there's the letter, so now we have to switch. This mission, you need go. Loading times, loading times, loading times. Always working against loading times. What I need to actually do, instead of swapping the Black Ninja Flame and the Double Jump, I should put Black Ninja Flame in R2 Triangle. That way I can have quick access to it and it's not in the way. Yes. Got the boy. So now we're just going to be getting that soul fragment. Um, might take a bit of time. 
Normally in very hard mode, what you can do is you can actually just throw a mine at the floor. And that really sort of speeds up going through missions. Just going for a walk. Kinu's the best. Kinu's the best. She goes on walks. That's why you gotta respect a calm, uh, Ichijo. He always thinks about your health. He thinks about your health. Attack the ox cart. Cut off enemy provisions. Um, not really what I think is the best use of our time. So, because it's on Dandala Peak, we can actually commit suicide very, very quickly. And this won't give us an issue. So, the mission after this will probably have a soul fragment that we're going to need to collect. Let's just jump off. So much time is spent in the loading of the game. It can be a little... Okay, so then Ichijo has it, Sadame's people, so steal back the jewel. This is going to be very easy. We're just going to get amongst a group of Mosu ninjas activate black ninja flame this should kill most of them and then uh because at the start of all our missions we have our usual cocktail of uh beast mode and invisible shadow all the asuka shuriken will be throwing will be able to then clean up any stragglers okay so it is no mosu ninja which is good Very quick. Very quick indeed. Now we gotta wait for Uzumushi to send us uh, a threatening letter. We're gonna have to do this mission, unfortunately. There's no way to skip it. So we're gonna switch back to go. A lot of strolls through this forest. Oh boy. I'm just suffering like a massive amount of lag on uh, my recording setup here. It's a bit of a shame. Run's going so well. So that's the cutscene. I'm just suffering a lot of technical issues this side of the uh, of the stream.
All right. Time to have our usual cocktail. There'll be no need for invisible shadow. I always take it anyway. It is a force of habit. I think it would be faster when this boss fight starts for me to run in between like the middle of all the bosses and then activate Black Ninja Flame, blowing them up, rather than drinking a potion and then throwing Astaka Shuriken. So that's what we're going to attempt, we're just going to run up to them, do one uh, sprint jump and then let it fly. So now we have to start purging the feudal lords. So this means that we're going to switch to Kinu. We're going to um, uh, invade their homes. <laughs> Why does Kinu live in the roof? It's like the every time I see it, it's so funny. She just kind of like drops down. <laughs> like, what do you need? Where have you been? Just been chilling in the roof. CPU, CPU, do not give up on me. I need you to operate at the best of your ability. Render my stream. Grass and Congo Pass. Not exactly what I was hoping for. But uh, this does offer us the chance to this offers us the chance to kill one of the feudal, one of the uh, samurai generals. Wow, that was a great route. We got the feudal lord, we completed the mission, we're going to be skipping the Zaji fight, everything is looking millhouse. house. Borrow rice from Sadame, it's time to kill the young lady. So normally I believe after you kill Uzumushi, you have to do one mission and then the next mission is once you kill Zaji. Uh, because we'll be playing Kinu, we won't be actually dealing with Zaji at all. Oh my gosh. Who is it? 
This particular jump is always so so difficult. Okay. Normally, you kind of have to... Oh, wait. No, I, I think... I think the Zaji fight happens after those three cutscenes. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so... What is next on the menu? Next on the menu, we're expecting another cutscene to appear. This is cutscene 2. And then, when we do one more mission, it's going to be cutscene 3. This is um, one of those moments where we don't have any good missions. No good missions. No good missions. Or at least what I was looking for were the locations at which the missions were being placed. So the locations were mostly difficult to work with. Uh, <laughs> at least I know there's a a little well here that I can use to die. This is going to trigger the third cutscene, which is the most important thing. Remnants of the dreams. Free the troops from their starvation. Freeing each freeing the troops from their starvation. What a way to say get him, boy. It's about a 15 minute gameplay chunk between when that boss fight ends and once uh, you start this portion. Oops. Are we under attack? Thought I saw this guy. What's that? Intruder? It's always so difficult to find where all the opponents are. Is 
Stay there. What are you Stay doing there. here? That's ah. what I call a ninja. No. <laughs> Just running around in circles, bro. All right, so that should have been the Zaji fight happening right now. Zaji, wait! Go would scream. But he ain't screaming anymore, is he? Defeat the Samurai General. We're really dismantling his army. Being seen will have a negative effect effect on your reward. Yeah, that was quick. I think that's a much better route to take instead of coming from underneath, but instead to run from that side and then double jump from that wall. Stroll through the forest. On this mission, you just hold back on the analog, and your character should walk directly out of the spot. Life on planet Mercury. Fascinating concept, life on Mercury, isn't it? Garden defense time. Once again, you know the drill. In Garden Defense, there is really no actual Garden Defense at all. We just wait for our moment, we hide in the corner, and then once the enemies have run away, we can come back up and get back to what we were doing. I wonder if like there was a pitfall in front of me, like directly in front of me I could walk in. I wonder if that would be a little bit faster. So... We're going to be racing to see how quickly we can assassinate this guy. I think it's going to be taking me faster to quit the mission, which would still keep us on track for what we need, which is... <laughs> Alright. So, now, the next mission that should be offered, either by Ichijo or Kame, should be to find the 7th Soul Fragment. Let's go check our letters just to see what it says. So, that's Ichijo, who knows where it is. And we need to infiltrate Fudo Castle to get it. Um, Fudo Castle should have a Kame up here. I'm doubtful that... Akame can be killed at this stage. Um, but let's attempt it anyway. Killing enemy leaders while on reconnaissance is ill considered.
I've done. Hmm, it was a clone. What? Uh, I think it actually might be downstairs. Nope, it was up here, which is really good. What is it? Right. That looks like everything's kind of going pretty well. Ah. Uh. That's... What's that? Huh? Hmm. What? Must have imagined it. Ah, that's it for me. I still don't know which leaders... Ah, it was nothing. Alright, so there we go. That's fragment number seven. So now for the killer whale's eye, um, we're gonna have to just skip a bunch of missions. I'm pretty sure. Now we just, um, now all we want to do is quit missions. We just want to quit. Do, 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 do. Give us the mission so we can just reconnaissance. All right. It's normally about five missions you have to like fail. Okay, another failed mission. There's the cutscene. Well, these missions are all just kind of bad, aren't they? Ah, all these missions are not what I want. I really want that reconnaissance mission. You know, I want Ichijo to be like, Hey man, you've been working a lot. I think you deserve a rest.
Defeat the Samurai General is actually a fairly good mission. Okay. Oops, I kind of messed up the... Ready? <laughs> Kino asks, are you ready? The answer is obviously no. <laughs> you just put the blade around, the chain around your neck and it makes you do a flip. You can't be ready for that. That just happens to you, man, and then your life's over. <laughs> wow. I'm just like watching this video about these dudes talking about... Um... The guy that makes the Dilbert comics, Scott Adams. Uh, first of all, no one gives a shit about him. No one gives a shit about him. Second of all, um, man, the fact that he's become a conversation topic is sad. No one gives a shit about him. Third of all, fuck that guy. He annoys the shit out of me. Sorry, that was not... Um, Smart, I actually didn't switch from Kimi to uh, go. Um, uh, no, yeah, lastly, yeah, man, that guy actually just gets on my bloody nerves. No joke, no joke, he really gets on my nerves, that guy. Yes. Run, run bear. For some reason, you don't have a quadrupedal canter. You, you run on two legs. Maybe I'm just bad at this. <clears throat> All right, let's kill that sweet young girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so weird. I don't know why I ended up doing it like that. I I missed her. So when I when I pounced on her, like it didn't actually even get the kill. You about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. <laughs> that's that's the song I actually need to sing when you're about to assassinate one of the feudal lords. You about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. Being a feudal lord for nothing. Uh 
All right, all right. We have been saving this one. We have been saving this one for a while to borrow the rice. You are about to lose your job. You are about to lose your job. You are about to lose your job for... <laughs> Being a few lord who does nothing. Okay, time for the cocktail. We get up there, we get the boy. <laughs> that was really quick how we got up there. There's the cutscene. It is time for the final showdown. It's a shame we're probably not going to be able to do this sub one hour. Sub one hour is really possible. And this is probably the first time I'm really seeing sub one hour being like a possibility on original hardware. Which means that if you had to do this on emulation, you should be seeing like really, really, like I think like sub, I don't know, sub 55 minutes, maybe sub, maybe into like the 40 minute range. Okay, okay. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. The run, the run's basically over at this stage. We just gotta get done with a few more things. Wow, that's funny. Look how much light's being reflected into my face. Hey! Oh, one hour to eleven. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, that's probably gonna be the new any percent record. Uh, so that's that's the new world record. Well done. Let's have a save. We'll look at the final save screen results, and then we'll see what kind of um, what kind of numbers we're pulling here. Thirty seven contracts, thirty seven days. I think thirty seven days is like the shortest I've ever seen this game being beaten. All right. So, um, let's figure this out. So, eleven hours forty two. Two plus. Eighteen, Well, I guess that's it. Uh, catch you guys next time.